Here at USDTL, we are routinely asked how do we ensure the accuracy of the results that we report. USDTL uses a defense in depth strategy borrowed from the military. Defense in depth takes an approach to risk that passes the specimen and results through multiple layers of test and review. It begins at the point of collection. USDTL provides two identical pre-printed barcode strips on the requisition form. One strip is peeled off and applied to the corresponding specimen container. This barcode creates the primary forensic identification for the specimen. At the laboratory, accessioning personnel scan the barcodes of the specimen and requisition form. The laboratory information management system forces a match prior to the receipt into the laboratory. A specimen whose barcode label does not match its corresponding requisition form barcode is rejected by the computer system. USDTO uses multiple identification for each specimen, such as the requisition form number, donor name, and donor ID, and the laboratory accession number assigned at the time of receipt. Once accessioned into the limbs, each specimen container is verified against the work list pulled from the system. Similarly, all requisition forms are reviewed against work list generated from the limbs. These review steps are conducted after all specimens have been received for the day. Each specimen forwarded to the initial testing section is identified by barcode label. The initial testing instruments read these barcodes, perform the tests, and automatically download the results to the limbs. The instrument operator generates batch review reports to assist with the data review process, which includes review of the chain of custody, calibration, positive controls, negative controls, and patient results. Once accepted, a final reviewer reviews the data a second time. After acceptance of the initial testing data, the initial negative certification reviewer generates the final toxicology reports for all of the negative specimens. This individual verifies each field on the report. Lastly, a final negative certifying scientist executes the final review of the negative specimens and releases those reports to the client via fax or email. When the client receives the final toxicology reports, it is very important to verify that all of the identification numbers and names match with the numbers and names from your copy of the multi-part requisition form. If you observe any discrepancy, please do not hesitate to notify the laboratory to investigate. USDTL keeps all positive specimens for one year for the purposes of retesting. A retest incurs a confirm-only fee prepaid by the donor, and that is waived if the original result is overturned. Prepayment of a retest fee generally discourages insincere disputers. Laboratory personnel are human and mistakes can happen. Defense in depth and multiple layers of quality assurance are the best practice to ensure that results are accurate. If you have any questions, please feel free to call 1-800-235-2367. At USDTL, our clients are our priority.